Josh Green here for Trunks and Tails. We've got Adam Smith Neil at the Brillington Weekend British Classic British Open. Yep. Adam, you're playing some great darts at the moment. We've just seen 3-0 win. Yeah. Steady how enough. Much, steady. How much are you enjoying it at the moment? Yeah, I'm a lot better now. My legs recovered, and it's just it's just all about the recovery process for me, really, and trying to get back into it. But I'm coming back now, so I'm coming back strong. Are you looking forward to the World Masters defending yeah, the title? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I'm hoping I'm going to defend it, but hopefully I'll get the defend on it. But also, I want the World Championship as well. I want to get greedy a bit here. I'm going to try and get both. You weren't quite at full fitness for the last World Championship. Obviously, you were yeah, playing, yeah. With the you're playing with the crutch. So, uh, a bit of a different experience, but we get to go again this time. Yeah, I mean, I, I, hurt my right, I hurt my place out right, and it just says to me, are you going to play? Well, I says, I'll force myself for the afternoon, no matter what state I'm in, and the state I was in, I just did it. That was it. But, you know, I can't, I can't knock Mark McGrath for beating me. It, it, it was what it was. He played against what he had to play, that was it. That's it, yeah. It's fine. And with the World Masters, obviously, it's going to be staged at the yeah. Circus Tavern this year. Yeah. A new venue, or not? A new iconic venue. venue. An iconic yeah. venue for sure. So, are you looking forward to Yeah, definitely, that? definitely. Playing where some of the uh, best of the best have played. So, yeah, it'd be good. Definitely be good. Yeah, just clarifying, you're completely back to full fitness now. No not, problems not at all. Not quite full fitness. I'm on strong pain to keep my leg going a bit, but uh, I've got another eight months recovery yet. But I'm, yeah, I'm doing well considering. So, no problems out there walking around on the no, board. No, no. Uh, what do you make of the standard difference between the BDO and the Challenge Tour? Because a few years ago, obviously, you were playing um, on that. I think with the Challenge Tour, yeah, granted, you've got a lot of better players, but with the BDO, it's a short format. So you, with, the, with the Challenge Tour, you've got best of nine format, yeah. whereas with the BDO, it's best of, like, say, best of five. You've got to go from the off. In, in the Challenge Tour, you can go 3 0 down and win 5 3 or win 5 4. You can, you can claw it back, but with this, it's go from the off. If you don't go from the off, you're out, that's it. Mm. Which is harder, I think, in a perspective of that. If you're playing somebody who wins the ball, you're virtually 2 0 down. Yeah. Straight, straight on the off or 2 1, and then 3 1. You know, if you don't break straight away, whereas Challenge Tour, they'll make more mistakes in a best of nine format. But which is still hard, but it's a lot easier and a lot more time to make more mistakes. Whereas here, if you make that one mistake, you're probably out. Yeah, that's true. And the Grand Slam of Darts, Bill Cup course coming up yep. in a couple of months' time. You played there last year. I did. <laughs> Maybe a little bit disappointed. Yeah, it was my first time. It was uh, with, with the crowd and that. I've, not, I've never had the crowd that big before. With the, the cameras, with Ace Sky Sports, it was, it was amazing. But it's a uh, first time experience. So I've learnt from that. So hopefully I'm back in this year and sort it out from that. You think it is that? I think it is a learning experience. Yeah, of course. It's everything's learning. Everything's learning. No matter where you go, what venue you're at. If you don't learn, then you, you shouldn't be playing. It, when you, I learn from every loss, and I know where to go wrong in the future. Where, where to go right in the future. If you don't do that, then if you're going wrong all the time. What's the point? So once you've got the experience on stage, yeah, I think, yeah. the more you get on there, the yeah. more you get used the, to the it. The more you're up there, the more it becomes natural, the more you're in habitat, and that's when you start winning. That's when that, that's where it becomes that, I think, personally. And just switching goes back to Lakeside. Are you a little bit sad maybe to see it go? You won't get another chance to play there again? Yeah, I mean, under the circumstances, I'm happy we just go there, to be honest. But yeah, it is what it was, so no, I'm not too fussed. I'd, I'd rather play at the Indigo anyway. It's a lot bigger, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to mention the Indigo. <laughs> What a fantastic venue, yeah. it just looks new, shiny, and it looks a perfect it's a, modern venue. Yeah, it's an amazing venue, especially for the BDO and the coverage it will get as well, and the size of the venue. They should fill it quite easily, especially that time of year as well, so it'll be, everything's going to be better for the BDO. It looks good as well, so mm. it's all one the up, and they've got them for quite a long time as well, haven't they? I was speaking to some of the guys earlier, I think it's going to be a completely different crowd there, because yeah, it will be. you add fans that would just go to the venue for the venue. Yeah, but for, I think for the iconic venue of the Lakeside than what it was. Whereas yeah. the uh, the O2 is a massive venue anyway, and I think they'll fill it quite easily with the venue where it's placed as well, and it, the way, especially the way they're advertising it as well. I think it would do really well, definitely. Just outline your plans for the uh, remainder of 2019. Obviously you've got the World Masters yeah. and then World Ma uh, the World Championships. So yeah. what are your plans and, and your expectations going into all those? Well, things? hopefully win them all, but... <laughs> We can all hope, but now I hope I can defend my World Masters title and then just go from there. It's just all about how long this one to keep up for. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice